Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing about the AD utility called AD ident. So first we'll see what is AD ident. Then we'll be see we'll be seeing how to run AD ident. Then we'll also see what are the alternatives for AD ident command and what are the general use cases. First of all, AD ident stands for AD identification, and the main use of AD ident utility is to find the versions of the files in the application tier. So, how do we run AD ident? The syntax is very simple. You just need to run AD ident space header followed by the name of the file for which you want to find the version. And alternatively, you can also use the Linux command strings to find the version. You can simply run strings a file name grep header. Both are valid and both can be used. There is no difference much to be frank because AD ident is basically an AD utility that can be used to check the file version whereas strings is general OS command which can be used to find the file version. So when do we have to really use AD ident utility? Let's say for example you are having one of the issues in production and in non-production you don't have the issue. So maybe you applied some additional patches in non-production which have not yet been applied in production. So what you do is, let's say for example, you identified a specific SQL which is there in one of the product tops and you want to find the version of that SQL in production and non-production. In such a case, for example, you can run the AD and command for that specific file version in production and non-production and compare it. Or sometimes when you rise an Oracle SR, service request to fix an issue, Oracle SR people might, Oracle support people might ask you to run AD and command to find the file versions and provide them the details. And similarly, when you are also checking any documents in Oracle support to fix any issue, you might be checking the file versions recommended by Oracle. So these are the general use cases when you use AD ident or strings command. Let us see a simple example. I have logged into my vision instance, the 12210 vision instance. First what I'll do as usual is I'll go to the base directory, set the environment of the run file system first and I'll go to any of the tops, let's say I'll go to AD top SQL. So here there are a lot of SQLs. So what I'll do is I'll simply try to find the version of one of the SQLs. So AD ident header and name of the SQL. Let's say for example, I'm checking for adzd show ad.sql. And you can see that the header version is so and so and last modified date is let's say 2016. And similarly, you can use the strings command as well. Strings have an A and name of the file and grep header. So here you can see the version of it. So these are different ways to find out the versions of the files in the application tier. 